Hey everybody, welcome to the Your Life Blueprint Sound Vibrations. I'm Gundarva. Please share these videos, please, please. Please contribute if you can. Um, these videos have been ongoing for two years, exactly, two years. And um, I'm very happy to be here every day sharing the vibrations with you of the day so that we can feel these vibrations inside of us because we resonate with each day in a different way. It's good to find out how you do that. Really helpful. So today is Wednesday. That's the sound of Wednesday. the sound of the fourths musical interval it's the day of the communicator and the communicator when it's in the spiritual part of someone's blueprint governs the path of yana yoga intellect. Using the intellect to go beyond the intellect, as we always say on Wednesdays. And I also always say that the blueprint is all about perspective. Your life is all about perspective, because we each have the communicator somewhere in our life, in our blueprint. Somewhere, somewhere. Where do you have it? I'm trying not to rattle with my zipper, and I made it worse. <laughs> because um, if it's in the spiritual, you're a jnana yogi, going beyond the intellect, right? If, but, but <laughs> you can have it in relationships, too. And then you would be observant about all your relationships. Jnana yogis are observers. They are witnesses of life. So when you speak about meditation, and each personality, you know, has its own way of meditating. For meditation, observation for the communicator. Witnessing, just watching everything. They don't necessarily need to sit down, close their eyes, and, you know, do that. You can, but um, they also meditate when they are just standing back from themselves and observing everything going on around them. That's a great way of meditating. So, you don't have to be a jnana yogi to use this, right? Well, you might be a communicator, a jnana yogi in relationships, like I said. So then you observe your relationship, you take a step back, you watch with some disinterest or interest, but you're not attached to what's going on. Or if it's in your career, the communicator, then you are able to observe your work and observe the people you work with and observe yourself working even. And when we realize all of this, when we are the witness, it helps the it helps us to know that the ego is not really the thing that's in charge, right? It's not the thing that's in charge at all. Energy is just coming through you, and you are being compelled to do things. you step back and watch and observe and stay out of the way, you got to stay out of the way. That's the point. And everything's cool. <laughs> you realize you're not in charge. I'm not really doing it. I'm not the doer. And things just happen. 
and then the next thing happens, and then the next thing happens, and then the next thing happens. It's a beautiful process, actually, if you get out of the damn way. The problem is we're always in the way. So listen to the fourths. That'll get you out of the way. <laughs> listen to the music today of Alice Coltrane, a spiritual communicator. In fact, I just got this, this bumper sticker. I don't know if you can see that. Got a bumper sticker that says, Keep honking. I'm listening to Alice Coltrane's 1971 meteoric sensation, Universal Consciousness. This is going on my car today. And check out her 1971 meteoric sensational recording, Universal Consciousness. It'll put you in the uh, vibe of Wednesday, that's for sure. observing today my newest bass friend who's visiting you never know may stay permanently we don't know I'm taking a step back from all of that and watching and listening and observing the fourths may the fourths be, be with us